a deeper walk with the Lord Jesus. Pero lo que realmente debemos de buscar es una relación más cercana con Dios. Because the Holy Spirit comes upon us, it gives us that deeper relationship that we desire. Cuando el Espíritu Santo cae sobre nosotros, nos da esa relación más profunda con Dios. It's not really about an experience. No se trata de una experiencia. So much as it's about that deeper abiding relationship with God. Sino una relación en obediencia con Dios. And this happens as the Holy Spirit comes upon us. Y esto sucede cuando el Espíritu Santo cae sobre nosotros. It says, seek the Holy Spirit and you will find him. Dice, busca al Espíritu Santo y lo encontrarás. Persistence is required. Se requiere aquí la persistencia. Many times when I hear testimonies of people who have received the Holy Spirit, it involved a time before God moved in their life of their seeking. Muchas veces cuando he escuchado testimonios sobre la primera vez que una persona ha recibido el Espíritu Santo, incluye un tiempo donde buscaron la presencia de Dios antes de haberlo recibido. They talked about being broken before God and being desperate for His presence. Hablaban de un momento donde el punto más bajo de sus vidas y estaban desesperados por recibir una respuesta. And they knew that there had to be more. Y sabían que había más. And they were at a point where they needed more. Y necesitaban en ese punto de su vida bajo más. And so they began to seek. Y comenzaron a buscar. And they were persistent. Y fueron persistentes. And God met them. Y Dios los encontró. The word says knock and it will be opened. La palabra dice llama y abrirá. See, I believe that God wants to know that you're serious. Yo creo que Dios quiere saber que usted es una persona seria. And sometimes you have to knock more than once. Y a veces tienes que llamar más de una vez. The implication in the scripture is that you ask and keep asking, seek and keep seeking, knock and keep on knocking. La implicación que veo aquí yo en la Biblia es de que llamas y sigues llamando, vienes y tocas la puerta y sigues tocando la puerta persistentemente. When I was in my early 20s, I was traveling for our family business. Tenía unos 20 años, estaba, eh, hice un viaje para el negocio familiar. And I traveled about three hours away from our home to check out a piece of equipment. Y manejé como unas tres horas a un lugar para buscar unas partes, unas piezas. And the manufacturer had, had, had reserved a hotel room for me in a specific hotel. Y ahí la compañía con la cual él iba a hacer el negocio para el molino de la familia ya le había reservado un cuarto en un hotel. And I'd never been there before. Nunca había ido. I left after work about 6 o'clock in the evening. Me fui después del trabajo como a las 6. And I got to this hotel about 9, 9.30. Y llegué al hotel como a las 9, 9 y media. And it was not the Hilton. Y no era el Hilton. It was, it was a bottom of the barrel kind of place. Era uno de los peores lugares. And I walked up to the office and there was no lights on. Fui a la oficina y no habían luces. Nobody was around. No había nadie. I'd never been there before. Nunca había estado ahí. It was out in the middle of nowhere. En el medio de la nada. And I would have preferred just to turn around and go home. Hubiera preferido regresarme a la casa. Because I thought I was supposed to have a reservation. Porque según yo tenía una reservación en ese hotel. And so I looked around and the hotel was here and there was a house right beside the hotel. Entonces salí y el hotel tenía una casa que estaba ahí cerca. And there was a light in what was a back room and that was the only light that was on. Y como ahí en la parte de atrás de la casa había una solitaria luz, la única luz en todo este sitio. And so I walked over to the house and I knocked on the door. Así que... Tuve el atrevimiento de caminar ahí a donde estaba ese cuarto y toqué la puerta. And I looked in the window and I can see, could see a guy sitting watching TV. Y vi por la ventana y logré ver un hombre viendo televisión. And when I knocked, he didn't move. Y cuando toqué la primera vez, el hombre ni se movió. So I knocked again. Así que volví a tocar. He was the only person that I found to, to, to do anything. I didn't know. And I looked and he still didn't move. And so I really knocked hard. And finally he turned and he came up and he opened the door and he said, yes, what do you want? 
Y al fin él se movió, se paró, me abrió la puerta y me dijo, sí, ¿qué quieres? Like he was doing me a favor for getting, <laughs> getting the room. Como que si él me hacía un favor al haber separado. And I said, I have a room reserved. Do you know anything about the hotel? Y le dije, tengo una reservación aquí en el hotel. ¿Sabes algo sobre ello? He said, oh, all right. And he went over to the office, unlocked, and got my key. Entonces él dijo, ah, sí, está bien. Y se fue al hotel, abrió el lugar donde estaban las llaves y me las dio. So I had a room. Así que sí, tenía cuarto. But I had to knock hard. Pero tuve que tocar fuerte. I had to keep on knocking. Tuve que persistir. Because I knew what was there was for me. Porque sabía de lo que, lo, lo que había ahí era para mí. And that's the way it is with the Holy Spirit sometimes. Y así es a veces con, la, con lo del Espíritu Santo. That's the way it is with God. Así es con el Señor. He wants us to be serious about entering into all that he has for us. It's for everyone that all who ask will receive, that all who seek will find, that all who knock, it will be opened. See, God has a good gift for you. Dios tiene un buen don para And his ti. gift is the Holy Spirit. Y ese don es el Santo. So let me ask you a question this afternoon. Una esta tarde. Why don't we seek, ask, and knock? ¿Por qué es que no pedimos, buscamos, y llamamos? When I was about 22, no, 21, Cuando tenía aproximadamente 22 años, I was in my junior year in college. Estaba en mi tercer año de colegio. And I didn't know the Holy Spirit. Y no conocía el Espíritu Santo. I knew the Father. Sabía del Padre. I knew the Son. Del Hijo. But I had no clue about the Holy Spirit. Pero ni idea del Espíritu Santo. And I grew up in a denominational church. Crecí en una iglesia de, 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 de una denominación. Where the only time we talked about the Holy Ghost was when we sang a particular song. El único momento cuando hablábamos del Espíritu Santo era cuando se cantaba una alabanza que hablaba del Espíritu Santo. In Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. El Padre, el Hijo y el Espíritu Santo. How many of you know that what we grow up with spiritually is what we filter everything through after that? ¿Cuántos aquí saben de que las costumbres con las cuales nosotros nos crecemos, especialmente en el ejemplo que él está dando de lo de la iglesia, es el filtro que utilizamos el resto de nuestras vidas con todas las experiencias. What we experience growing up is normal for us, and so anything else gets filtered through that. Lo que hemos llegado a conocer en nuestra vida creciendo se, se, se convierte en lo normal. Y todo lo que no es lo que hemos visto anteriormente es algo abnormal. And so my junior year of college, there was a girl that came to college just for that semester. Ese semestre, eh, el tercer año de, de colegio, conocí a una muchacha que me habló del tema. There was no romantic relationship, but she became my friend. No había una relación romántica, pero se convirtió en mi amiga. And she began to talk to me about the Holy Spirit. Y me habló sobre el Espíritu Santo. And so I began to argue with her back. Así que yo me metí en un argumento con ella. Because my grid had no room for the Holy Spirit. Porque mi cabeza no cabía nada que tenía que ver con el Espíritu Santo. And she would talk to me about the Holy Spirit and being relationship with God in that way. Ella me hablaba del Espíritu Santo y entrar en una relación con Dios de esa manera. And because I didn't have any idea what she was really talking about, I argued about why I didn't need that. Y porque nunca había yo experimentado algo así, yo a ella le respondía muchas veces de una manera negativa del cual, del, del por cual yo no creía en eso. And so at the end of that spring semester, she gave me a book called The Holy Spirit in You. Así que al final de ese semestre ella me regaló un libro llamado El Espíritu Santo en Ti. And then she left. Y se fue. And I read the book and it made sense to me. Leí el libro y sí tenía sentido. And that summer I worked masonry work. Y ese verano tuve un trabajo. And it rained one day. Y and I couldn't work. Un día de lluvia no pude trabajar. And so I sat in my living room on my couch all by myself and I prayed. I said, Lord, if the Holy Spirit is real, I desire you to baptize me in him. 
Y dije, Señor, si el Espíritu Santo es real, te pido que en este momento me bautices. And God answered that prayer. Y Dios contestó esa oración. And his presence came upon me is the easiest way to describe it. Y la manera más fácil de describirlo es de que su presencia vino sobre mí. And the next words out of my mouth I didn't understand. Y las próximas palabras que salieron de mi boca no los pude entender. And I began to speak in tongues. Y hablé en lenguas. And it kind of freaked me out. Y realmente fue algo que me asustó. But yet it, there was something very right about it. Pero se sentía bien. And it radically changed my life. Y cambió mi vida de una manera radical. Because now in, instead of hearing about God out there, God was speaking to me in here. Porque ahora en vez de escuchar sobre Dios en las afueras, escuchaba a Dios aquí adentro. And so if we will seek and ask and knock, the Holy Spirit will come upon us. Así que si nosotros buscamos, llamamos, Él en, no, lo encontraremos y vendrá sobre nosotros. Why don't we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit? ¿Por qué recibimos el, el don del Espíritu Santo? There may be many reasons. Pueden haber muchas razones. But just a couple. First, things might get messy. Pero una de las razones es porque las cosas se complican un poco. We've been in Holy Spirit type meetings or experienced people being prayed for for the Holy Spirit and seen things that we weren't quite comfortable with because we didn't understand them. Quizás hemos estado en una reunión en un grupo donde la presencia del Espíritu Santo ha venido y hemos visto cosas que nos ha asustado. See, sometimes people do strange things when the Holy Spirit comes upon them. A veces las personas reaccionan de una manera que nos asusta cuando el Espíritu Santo viene sobre ellos. And many times we want to stay in control. Y muchas veces nosotros solemos querer mantener el control de toda situación. Nancy and I had a yellow labrador, a yellow lab called Shane. Mi esposa y yo teníamos un perro, un labrador. And this dog was a big dog, about 80 pounds. Era un perro enorme, como de 80 libras. What did you say? It was a big dog. Yeah, it was a big dog. <laughs> and Shane would follow Nancy all over the house. Y el perro se llamaba Shane y él perseguía a mi esposa por toda la casa. Get up under her feet and legs. Él se acostaba en los pies de ella. And Nancy would comment that Shane reminds her of the Holy Spirit, always with her. Y ella me hizo un comentario de que el perro le recordaba al Espíritu Santo porque siempre estaba con ella. She called Shane our Holy Spirit dog. Y ella le dio el apodo al perro, el perro del Espíritu Santo. One day she had been cleaning the floor. We had a tile floor and she cleaned it immaculately. Un día, mi esposa limpió el piso de toda la casa y lo dejó, no sé cuál es la palabra ahí, pero impecable. Gracias. And she stepped back. It was perfect. Y ella al ver ese piso estaba perfecto. And Shane, and Shane went over to his water and got a big drink and then turned around and came traipsing, dripping all across the nice, perfect floor. El perro decidió que ese era un buen momento para ir a tomar un poco de agua. Y al tomar el agua... Y al tomar el you agua, didn't understand that. <laughs> I'm still telling the story. Y al tomar el agua... Es uno de esos perros que se van y todo eso le va salpiqueando. El agua le salía y regó agua por todo el piso. <laughs> Where was I at? Oh, Lord. The water. The yeah, yeah, dripping, <laughs> yeah. Like me. No. <laughs> And the Holy Spirit spoke to Nancy. Y el Espíritu Santo le reveló algo a mi esposa. And said, sometimes when the Holy Spirit comes, it gets messy. Le dijo, a veces, cuando el Espíritu Santo viene, las cosas se complican. See, even though sometimes things happen that we don't understand, always, when the Holy Spirit comes, it's for our benefit. Cuando el Espíritu Santo viene, aunque no lo entendamos, como pasó con el perro que babió todo el piso, no lo entendemos, pero es para nuestro beneficio. We're all unique. Our experience, each one is a little different. Cada experiencia es única. And I don't believe God's going to put you in a situation that you're going that is going to cause you to resent God. It may be hard. It may not be what you expect. But it won't divide you or separate you from God. 
queremos, pero es algo que es difícil aceptarlo al principio. It will be to our benefit. Aún así será para nuestro beneficio. His gifts are good. Los dones de Dios son buenos. A second reason we don't ask, seek and knock is I believe we don't want to be part of hype. Una segunda razón por la cual quizás nosotros no pidamos recibirlo del Espíritu Santo es que quizás no queremos ser parte de las tendencias. All of us want to know that what is happening is real. Todos queremos saber que lo que está pasando es algo real. And we're leery of getting caught up in emotionalism. Somos cuidadosos y no queremos dejarnos llevar por la emoción. When the Holy Spirit comes, it may be emotional. Cuando el Espíritu Santo viene, puede ser algo emocional. But in our emotions and the Holy Spirit are two different things. Pero nuestras emociones y el Espíritu Santo son dos cosas muy diferentes. His Spirit can come and there can be very little emotion. El Espíritu Santo puede venir sobre ti y puede que no haya ninguna emoción. It depends on the uniqueness of your experience. Depende de la experiencia que estés pasando. When the Holy Spirit comes, we want to know that it's real. Cuando el Espíritu Santo viene, queremos saber que es algo real. How many of you have ever been in a prayer line in a service? ¿Cuántos aquí han estado en una fila de oración en un servicio? You had a pastor or a leader want to pray for everybody, and so people line up and they come. Hay un pastor que quiere orar por la iglesia, entonces la gente viene y hace una línea esperando esa oración. And when you got to the person who was praying and they prayed, you felt like he tried to push you down to the ground. Y cuando oraron por ti, sentiste que como que si te quisieron empujar para que te cayeras. Because the expectation was if the Holy Spirit comes, you're going to fall out in the Lord. ¿Por qué? Porque la expectativa es de que si el Espíritu Santo ha venido y ha caído sobre ti, te vas a caer al piso. And so you are pushed down and that leaves a bad taste in people's mouth. Entonces te eh, han empujado, te empujan para que caigas y eso como que te deja con una mala experiencia. They didn't experience the Holy Spirit, or you didn't experience the Holy Spirit. You experienced that person doing something to you. No sentiste el Espíritu Santo. No experimentaste la presencia del Espíritu Santo. Experimentaste de que alguien te empujó. And calling it the Holy Spirit. Lo llamaron el Espíritu Santo. See, we want real reality. We don't want hype. Queremos algo real, verdadero. And we don't want to be put on display. Tampoco queremos que nos pongan en, en el centro y ser expuestos. I'm going to talk about being slain in the Holy Spirit in just a minute because I've experienced that. It's real. Quiero hablar de lo que es estar muerto en el Espíritu Santo en un momento porque eso es real. We don't want to be put on display. We don't want to, to be the focus for God's move. No queremos nosotros ser expuestos. When I was 23, Nancy was 20, we lived on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Cuando tenía unos 23 años con mi esposa Nancy vivíamos en Carolina. We had just gotten married. Nos acabábamos de casar. She was a waitress and I worked carpentry. Y yo era un carpintero en ese momento. And we went to a small church there that she had went to before we got married. Y fuimos a una pequeña iglesia donde ella iba antes de casarnos. Maybe 80, 90, 100 people. Quizás unas 80, 90, 100 personas. People living on the beach. Gente que vivía cerca de la playa. Surfers, beachers, great group of people. Gente buena que le gustaba pasarse en la playa. <laughs> shorts and flip flops. Gente que usaba, <laughs> sí, <laughs> pantaloncillos, shorts y chancletas. Yeah. But love God, young adults. Gente humilde, pero le amaban a Dios. And Nancy and I learned a lot there. Nosotros aprendimos mucho ahí. But I remember one evening we were having a service and a man came in, I hadn't seen him before, and they decided that he needed to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Pero un día llegó un hombre, no lo había visto antes, pero ahí decidieron de que él necesitaba ser bautizado por el Espíritu Santo. And so they took him up front and began to pray over him. Así que lo, lo hicieron pasar al frente y comenzaron a orar por él. And they weren't necessarily imparting the Holy Spirit, they wanted to see him or hear him speak in tongues. No estaba necesariamente impartiéndole a él el Espíritu Santo. Ellos estaban a la expectativa de que él iba a comenzar a hablar en lenguas. And it just didn't happen. Y no pasó. And he, he tried and as he tried, they tried louder. Y él trató. Pero como no lo hacía, ellos simplemente lo que hacían era, lo hacían más fuerte. Era como más show. And I felt sorry for the man. Me sentí mal por él. 
because he didn't really understand what was going on no lo que and he was intimidated y más bien le, imagino, le dio miedo. and the reality was it was the immaturity of the group that was causing this to happen their hearts were sincere Los corazones de ellos, but you say were sincere? yeah their hearts were sincere Los corazones de ellos eran sinceros. but I never saw the man again pero nunca volví a ver al hombre. And I believe it was a bad experience for him. Fue una mala experiencia para él. Far better to take a person to a place where there's privacy. Mucho mejor llevar una persona a un lugar donde hay privacidad. Or like at the altar where they're not the focus. O en un altar donde ellos no son el enfoque. And pray and invite the Holy Spirit to come. A third reason I believe we ask and seek and knock, or we, hint, we don't ask and seek and knock, is that we've tried and nothing has happened. And But I remind you, we're seeking an experience, not a manifestation. Or we're not seeking an experience. We're seeking relationship. I'm sorry. Pero te recuerdo de que no estamos buscando una experiencia, sino una manifestación. We want more of God to come upon us. Queremos más de Dios. In the person of the Holy Spirit. En la persona del Espíritu Santo. That may come with an experience. Puede que venga con una experiencia. But it may not. Pero puede que it no. may come with a manifestation. But it may not. Puede que venga con una manifestación, pero you puede will que no. receive gifts of Vas the Holy Spirit. El don del Espíritu Santo. But ultimately that's not what you seek. Pero eso no es lo que buscas. You're seeking a deeper relationship with God. Sino que buscas una relación personal con Dios. And the implication of the passage is that we ask and keep on asking, seek and keep on seeking, knock and keep on knocking. Y la implicación de la palabra es de que pidamos y sigamos pidiendo, de que busquemos y sigamos buscando, y que llamemos y sigamos llamando. On the day of Pentecost, Jesus told the disciples to go and to wait. El día de Pentecostés, el, eh, Jesús le dijo a sus discípulos que fueran y esperaran. And he said, you'll know it when it happens. And I think the same principle applies to us. We seek the deeper experience of the presence of the Holy Spirit, and we know it when it happens. El mismo principio se aplica a nosotros. El buscar la presencia del Señor. Quizás no sepamos qué es lo que vamos a recibir, pero nos vamos a dar cuenta cuando esté sucediendo. I want to talk just a little bit yet about some manifestations. Because these are some things that we kind of get a little bit distracted by. Estas cosas nos un poco. The Bible says that when the disciples were baptized in the Holy Spirit in the upper room, they spoke with other languages. La palabra dice que cuando los discípulos recibieron el Espíritu Santo el día de Pentecostés, comenzaron a hablar otros, otras lenguas. We call this the manifestation of tongues. Llamamos a esto la manifestación de las lenguas. And ultimately, it's a prayer language. Y es un lenguaje de oración. But in the Pentecostal experience, the disciples spoke in a language they didn't know and hadn't learned, but that someone else understood as their native language. Pero en el contexto bíblico, a pesar de que los discípulos estaban hablando otras lenguas que ellos no entendían, como habían visitantes de otros lugares, ellos sí entendían las lenguas que se estaban hablando. And God many times gives this gift as a, as a sign of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Muchas veces Dios nos da ese don como una seña, una muestra de que nos ha bautizado con el don del Espíritu Santo. And the Bible talks about having tongues of men and tongues of angels. La Biblia habla sobre tener lenguas de hombres y lenguas de ángeles. See, when you speak in a tongue that you haven't learned, it doesn't sound right to your ear. Cuando hablamos nosotros en una lengua que no entendemos, como que no te cae bien al escucharla, no la entiendes. You form words, but you don't have understanding. Hablas, formas palabras con tus labios, pero no tienes entendimiento de ellas. 
But the miracle isn't that you're speaking in tongues. No está en de que tú en the miracle is that God understands what you're saying. Sino que Dios lo que estás and really it's an intercessory gift. Es un don de God begins to pray through you. Dios a orar por medio de ti. You have to form the words. Tú forma las palabras. You're in control. Estás en control. But God is praying through you. The Holy Spirit is praying through you. You're not going to be walking down the supermarket and all of a sudden just go off praying in tongues without any control. You can, you can choose to close your mouth. But it brings you into alignment with the Holy Spirit and what He desires to pray through you. God gives good gifts. Dios da buenos dones. A second manifestation is laughter. Una segunda manifestación que sucede es la risa. About 10, 12 years ago, there was a, a movement among charismatic churches where congregations just began to laugh. Hubo un movimiento hace unos 10, 12 años donde las congregaciones simplemente comenzaban a reír. How many of you know that laughter is a good medicine? ¿Cuántos saben de que la risa es una buena medicina? That it feels good to laugh. Que se siente rico reírse. And I'm not talking about Pastor Kenton told a joke and the people laughed. Y no estoy hablando de las bromas que hago yo aquí a veces y que la gente se ríe. This is much deeper. Es mucho más que eso. I've only experienced this once. Solo lo he experimentado una vez. And it wasn't in a public setting. Y no fue... We were at a leadership retreat. There was about 14, 15 of us men, elders, that went on a retreat. And at one point in the evening, somebody began to laugh. And how many of you know that laughter is contagious? And so, about out of our, the 14 people that were there, 12 of us just began to laugh, and we couldn't control it. Y de la mayoría que estábamos ahí, como 12 de nosotros, nos comenzamos a reír sin control. We, el control. we didn't know what we were laughing at. No sabíamos de qué nos reíamos. But we were laughing. Pero nos estábamos riendo. And the two people that weren't laughing, they were upset. Y las dos personas que no se estaban riendo se molestaron. And that made us laugh even more. Y eso nos hizo reír aún más. Which made them even more upset. Lo que a ellos les molestó más. But after about an hour... Things died down. Pero como de una hora, las cosas se and we continued with what we were doing. Y con lo que a manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Una del Santo. I talked before about being slain in the Holy Spirit. Hablé antes sobre el ser en el and I believe in this. Y yo creo en esto. But I also believe it's been abused. Because some people won't pray for anyone unless they're standing up and the expectation is that you go down. Porque en muchas iglesias no oran por ti al menos de que estés parado. ¿Por qué? Porque la expectativa es de que al orar por ti te vas a caer. And how many of you have been prayed for someone knowing that they expect you to go down so you do? ¿Y cuántos de ustedes han estado en un lugar donde sabes que la persona que está orando por ti está esperando que te caigas y entonces para cumplir con lo que está y con el empujón que te dan, te dejas caer. There's a name for that. Hay un nombre. A, para a courtesy drop. <laughs> Se llama, eh, digamos, me voy a caer de cortesía, por cortesía. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't believe in that. No creo en eso. You know, if, if, if someone lays their hand on your head and begins to pray for you and you start feeling them push you, I resist that. Yo cuando he sentido eso, and I'm just going to talk about my experience here a little bit. It's basically what you said about your experience. Cuando han orado por mí es lo que él dijo. Yo he pasado por la misma experiencia. Yo resisto cuando he sentido la mano puesta sobre mí así de tal manera que me siento hacer así y he puesto el pie así para atrás. That's me resisting. Like that. Now, if you feel that you, you're going back and they haven't moved their hand and their hand is six inches from your head, you better go down. Llega un punto donde estás así tan, tan arrinconado de que ya es mejor que te dejes caer. I went to a full gospel businessman's soon after we, Nancy and I were married. 
fui, fui a un retiro, eh, casado con mi esposa. And we went forward for ministry because my brother responded to a, a, an, an altar call. Y, y respondí a un llamado al altar porque mi, mi hermano lo había hecho and Nancy and I went to be with him y mi esposa y yo fuimos para estar con él and the man came and prayed for him but turned to me and touched me on my neck and said God knows what you need el, el ministro oró por, por mi hermano pero después me tocó a mí aquí y me dijo Dios sabe lo que necesito that's the last thing I remember eso fue lo último que yo me acuerdo I don't know how long I was down no sé cuánto tiempo estuve tirado en el piso. It may have been a minute and it may have been 15 minutes for all I know. Pudo haber sido un minuto, 15 minutos, no sé. I didn't know where Nancy was. No sabía dónde estaba mi esposa. I didn't know anything. No sabía nada. And the next thing I know, I'm opening my eyes and there's this man staring at me with a big grin on his face. Cuando abro los ojos, lo primero que vi fue un hombre con una sonrisa enorme viéndome. And as I came up, I realized that Nancy was off to my left and had experienced the same thing. Cuando me di cuenta y me paré, eh, vi que mi esposa había experimentado exactamente lo mismo. And I also realized that God called me to ministry. Y ahí fue cuando recibí yo mi llamado al ministerio. It, I didn't have that expectation. Yo no estaba esperando eso. I didn't go into that meeting desiring that. No fue algo donde yo ya había pensado, voy a buscar esto. But that night I went home and called my boss who was in Chicago at the time. He had left for a four-month um, ministry training time in Chicago about a week earlier. And I was supposed to help run his business while he was gone. Y yo a en su en su and, God had, and God had touched me. Y Dios me había tocado. And I told him I couldn't work for him anymore. Y renuncié, le dije que no podía trabajar con él. And he didn't like that. A él no le gustó. But he understood. Pero él entendió. And the next morning I went and talked to the, the school. I, I did what I knew to do. Hice lo que sabía que tenía que hacer. And I entered seminary that afternoon. Y esa misma tarde me metí al seminario. And I was in class that day. Ese día fui a clases. You see, if God touches you, Cuando Dios te toca, you will be changed. Cambias. If God's presence really touches you, it will change you. Si verdaderamente la presencia de Dios te toca, te transforma. See, I think many times what happens is we experience something, but we really fall short of what God has for us. Muchas veces pienso de que quizás nosotros pasamos por una experiencia, pero en realidad no recibimos lo que Dios verdaderamente tiene para nosotros. And one more is, uh, manifestation of the Spirit is weeping or crying. Y otra de las manifestaciones es el, el llorar. See, sometimes there's times that we just need to allow the Holy Spirit to clean out all the stuff that's in there. A veces nosotros necesitamos de que venga el Espíritu Santo sobre nosotros y comience como una limpieza, una sanidad interior. We had experienced a really hard time in our congregation. Pasamos una vez una, un momento muy difícil en nuestra congregación. And I went to Christian retreat to hear a speaker. Y fui a un retiro cristiano a escuchar a un, a, a un ministro. And I went forward at the end of the message. Pasé adelante al, al, fina, al finalizar el sermón. And I don't remember who the speaker was or what he talked about. No me acuerdo quién era el presentador ese día, el ministro. But when I bowed and, and I, I just simply knelt in front. Pero cuando me arrodillé en el altar. And as soon as I did, I just began to cry. En el momento donde me arrodillo, comencé a llorar. And something, everything just came out. Y como que todo se me salió. I'm not a crier. No soy un llorón. I don't do that. No hago eso. But that night I was. Pero ese día sí fui and I walked away. I got up from that experience. I remember there was a violinist that came and played over me during that time. Was that really? Hmm? There was a real violinist there? Yeah, her name was Janet oh, Shell. Wow. It was part of the worship team. Okay. Pero ese día había un, un violinista ahí presente quien tocó el violín cerca de donde yo estaba. What other kind of violinist would there be? No, none other. 
I was just asking. A real one. <laughs> no, I just... But I experienced freedom. Experimenté libertad. And so sometimes the manifestation of the Spirit, God gives good gifts. Dios siempre da dones buenos. Let's stand together. Puesto de pies. The persistence of seeking. La persistencia en la búsqueda. Ask God why he wants to give you the Holy Spirit Pregúntale if you have any doubt. Esta tarde, ¿por qué te quiere dar este don? And ask him what may be, may be hindering you from receiving him. Pregúntale qué es lo que te está impidiendo recibirlo. And, and maybe you've been at this place and you've asked before. Quizás ya se lo has preguntado antes. But ask again. Vuelve a preguntar. Seek again. Búscalo. Knock again. Llama. Open your heart to what God has for you. Abre tu corazón para lo que and Dios position tiene. your life to receive it. Y prepárate para recibirlo. See, God always gives good gifts. Dios siempre da buenos dones. We may not understand what is happening. Quizás no entendemos lo que está pasando. But we can trust that if God gives it to us, it will be for our benefit. Pero podemos confiar de que si es Dios quien nos está dando, que the, es bueno. The gift of the Holy Spirit is for each one of us. El don del Espíritu Santo es para cada uno de nosotros. Right where you are. Te invito a que cierres tus ojos. I invite you to close your eyes. Y te concentres solamente en la presencia del Espíritu Santo que está en este lugar. And I ask that you just concentrate on the Lord. Focus on the Lord. His presence. His Spirit is here. ¿Qué quieres decirle al Espíritu Santo? What do you want to tell him today? Quizás no sepas cómo decírselo. Maybe you just don't know how to say it. Quizás te da vergüenza decirle lo que realmente quieres decir. Maybe you're ashamed. Dios ya conoce tu condición. Dios ya sabe quién eres. Dios sabe todo lo que hay de saber sobre ti como yo que soy padre sé, creo saber todo lo de mis hijos y yo soy un hombre humano de esa misma forma Dios nos conoce completamente God already knows your situation He already knows what you've been through He created you He is your creator and just like I know most things about my boys most things about my kids He, how much more does He know about us He created you the way you are Hoy en este día, como dijimos anteriormente, veo que es necesario para mi persona constantemente recibir del Espíritu Santo. Que mi vaso, que mi vasija sea constantemente llena, llena hasta que fluya en mí su Espíritu Santo, su presencia. As I said before, I feel that we have a need, just like the natural needs of having to eat, having to sleep every day, a need of the Holy Spirit, a need for our vessels to be filled with His Holy Spirit, with His presence, to a point where it's overflowing. El altar está abierto. The splendor, the splendor of the King, clothed in majesty, let all 
the earth rejoice. Let all the earth rejoice. He raps. He raps himself in light. And darkness tries to hide. It trembles at his voice. It trembles at his voice. How great, how great is our God. Sing with me, how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. If you want to receive more of the Holy Spirit. In the Holy Spirit. I invite you to come forward. You can simply stand here up front or you can kneel at the altar and someone will come and pray with you and minister to you. Let's continue to worship. Splendor of the King. El esplendor de un rey. Vestido en majestad. La tierra alegre está, la tierra alegre está. He raps, cubierto. Cubierto está de luz. Venció la oscuridad y tiembla a su voz, tiembla a su voz. How great. Grande es Dios, cántale cuán grande es Dios, y todos lo verán, cuán grande es Dios. How great is our God. Beginning and the end, the Godhead, the Godhead three in one, Father, Spirit, Son, the Lion and the Lamb, the Lion and the Lamb, how great, how great.
great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. And all will sing. the name above all names. You are the name above all names. You are worthy of all praise. And my heart will sing how great is our God. You are the name above all names. Tu nombre, tu nombre sobre todo lo es. Tu eres digno de alabar y mi ser dirá cuán grande es Dios. You are the name above all names. You are the name. great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. And all will sing how great, how great is our God. How great is our God. Cuán grande, cuán grande es Dios, cántale cuán grande es Dios y todos lo verán, cuán grande es Dios. You stood before. You stood before creation, eternity in your hands. You spoke the earth into motion, my soul now to stand. You stood before my failure. You stood before my failure and carried the cross for my shame. My sin weighed upon your shoulders, my soul now to stand. You stood before creation, tu eres. Tu eres el principio, tu ya es la eternidad, llamaste el mundo a existencia, me acerco a ti. You stood before my failure, moriste. Moriste por mis fracasos, llevaste mi culpa en la cruz, cargaste en tus hombros mi carga, me acerco a ti. What can I say? What can I Take 
puedo, que puedo hacer, que puedo decir, te ofrezco mi corazón completamente a ti. I walk upon salvation. upon salvation your spirit alive in me this life to declare your promise my soul now to stand oh walk upon in tu salvación en tu salvación camino tu espíritu vive en mí declararé tus promesas me acerco a ti what can I say what can I say stand so I'll stand with arms high and heart abandoned in all of the one who gave it all I'll stand my soul Lord to you surrendered all I am is yours I'll stand Aquí estoy, con manos alzadas vengo, pues tú todo lo diste por mí. Aquí estoy, mi alma a ti entrego, tú yo soy, Señor. All I am is yours. All I am is yours all I am is yours tu yo soy Señor what can I say what can I do but offer this heart and to come upon us with power. We thank you. Jesus. Mm. Let's go out with praise this afternoon. Great is your faithfulness. Grandiosa. Great is your faithfulness, O oh God. You wrestle with the sinner's heart. 
You lead us by still waters into mercy. And nothing can keep us apart. Great is your faithfulness. Grandiosa. Grandiosa es tu fidelidad. Trabajas en el pecador. Nos guías por corrientes a tu gracia. Y nada nos podrá apartar. So remember, so remember your people. Remember your children. Remember your promise, oh God. Your grace. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace is enough for me. Your grace is enough. Tu gracia, Señor, me basta a mí. Tu gracia, Señor, es para mí. Great is your love and justice. Great is your love and justice, God. You use the weak to lead the strong. You lead us in the song of your salvation. And all your children sing along. Great is your love and justice. Grandiosa. Grandiosa es tu justicia, Dios. El débil al fuerte guiará. Nos guías en el canto de victoria. Tu pueblo canto junto a ti. So remember, so remember your people. Remember your children. Remember your promise, oh God. So remember y recuerda tu pueblo. Recuerda tus hijos. Recuerda tus promesas, oh Dios, your grace. Tu gracia, Señor, me basta a mí. Tu gracia, Señor, es para mí. Your grace, your grace is enough. Your grace is enough. Your grace. 